What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Stochastic here on the Odd Chopper channel, coming to you with the DFS first look for the WGC match play. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. I'm a little sad here for this one because this is going to be the last time. Yes, you heard me. The last time that they are going to have this tournament played at Austin Country Club. Now, it might be the last time they have a match play event. That is something they also discussed and said that it was probably going to happen, but I'm bummed out about it because this is one of the biggest edges that you will get all season long in PGA DFS. People have gotten much better because, again, Fantasy Cruncher does it for you. So that's pretty cool, but also pretty cool. Prize picks. Use promo code LINDY to get yourself, yes, L-I-N-D-Y, to get yourself $100 first match deposit bonus when you sign up and deposit today. You want to deposit 20 get 20 back from them. Deposit 50 get 50 back, so on and so forth. As you can see, they don't have any golf available yet, but they have some great NBA props. Steph Curry's starting up here pretty soon. Jalen Green's active. You don't have Alfred Shankoon. Pay attention to the NBA streets. It's a print factory over at Prize Picks. It's a lot of fun. So, once again, promo code Lindy. Get yourself access to it. And then tomorrow, when all the WGC stuff comes out for Prize Picks, take advantage. Going to be fun for some head, heads up matchups. Going to get some exposure myself. But we're going to jump over to the Top Golfers tool, and we are not going to hand build this week over on DraftKings and why well I don't want to because it is a disaster absolute stone cold disaster to try to hand build anything for this week you can sit with the bracket right in front of you that's a thing you can do you can go from the top left corner Scheffler Tom Kim Alex Norton Davis Riley go to the other top right corner John Rom, Horschel Mitchell Fowler but let's start here let's explain what the heck is going on here this week because it's a little bit different than what you have going as you can see you have groups you have quadrants you have all these things and Luckily for you, Fantasy Cruncher does it for you. Yes, you heard me. You are going to go to the main screen, and as soon as it comes up, you're going to get a group option to made. Round of eight groups. And why is this so important? Well, again, at most one player of this group, because we want to give ourselves access to having four live players when it's all said and done. Usually, it's kind of what you need in order to win a GPP here. Sometimes you get somebody who goes berserk and beats somebody eight and six makes their way to the top you don't need necessarily the optimal optimal if it's somebody really random off the board you have like a 64 versus 62 seed but just like the ncaa tournament that you know and love they're seeding teams one through 64 based on quality of player you know obviously you're getting the scotty scheffler side of things but the the key element is making sure that you build in fantasy cruncher even if you want to do the single entry stuff in here so that when you build out a lineup we'll just go down here i'll play the optimal my projection i'm gonna go stochastic projections because that seems fun oh it's refreshing this is fun really entertaining stuff but we're gonna go to one lineup stochastic projections see and then you hit crunch we'll see what that optimal ends up being see how they run i don't know what that meant but you're getting players that are from different groups yes different groups from the entire match play bracket and you got to give yourself an opportunity to look at that bracket. I'm not going to pull it up here because I'm not sure if it gets flagged on YouTube or whatnot. So I don't even want to risk it. No risk it, no biscuit. But we're not going to do that here. That's why we're going to do things a little bit differently. But it is so imperative that you give yourself opportunities to get to four of four players left at the very end. Probably want to have six of eight as well. Yes, you heard me. You want to get to six of eight in the final eight rounds. So Let's look at the eight rounds. Again, you have the four groups. We want to find our favorite players in this grouping, and that's where this top golfers tool can really come in handy for you at Stochastic this week. Use it. Love it. Match play is wild. It is crazy. We saw Scotty Scheffler win here last year. He's playing unbelievable golf yet again. He's a Texas kid. Yay. He's going to be popular again. But look at the win equity. This is lower than you might even run into. We've seen optimal percentages around 16, but like, again, this top four percentage... This is really what I'm focused in on. This top eight percentage, this is what I'm really focused in on. I want to find some contrarian ways of piecing together my players. I don't want to just play Scheffler and Rom and everybody else. I can't because salary is still a thing. And keep that in mind because, again, those are the scenarios when you can break the rules, when you can go five of eight in the event that you want to try to get a little bit different with the salary. But I am not, yes, you heard me, not going to be making anything that isn't six of eight possibilities. Does that make sense? I hope so. I feel like a teacher. But either way, we're going back to the top golfer stool mixing out of prize picks because we're done talking about them here today. But let's start at the top here with Scotty Scheffler. He is the most likely player to win, but not by a complete long ways because in match play, you're playing per hole. Make double, it counts as losing one to somebody who makes a bogey. You make eagle and somebody else makes birdie, you only get one. Somebody makes eagle and they, somebody makes eagle and you make 15, 
counts as one hole. So lots of aggressiveness, lots of birdie, uh, sorry, bogey avoidance, not as important. I want guys who can go out and get playing, get it moving. So Scotty Scheffler, hard not to like everything that we just saw from him at the players. He's very good at golf. I don't know what I'm supposed to say other than that. If you want to be playing him, firing him up, pay close attention to ownership as we get closer to tomorrow. We don't have that as of yet because it is so hard to get this thing completely right. But we're going to do our damnedest. And if somebody can do it here in the fantasy industry, it's going to be us at Stochastic. Alex Baker, Sean Zahn, the sharpest minds you've ever seen in your life. So very much looking forward to building out lineups for this one. But as I said, I'm going to do it in Fantasy Cruncher. And there's a couple of players in terms of salary on the cheap end that I'm looking at. Maverick McNeely, the first guy, 6,800. I'm kind of keying in on him. We saw the health return. He went out to the players. Didn't play very well there. Played decent enough. Decent enough for me over at the Fallis Bar. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to roll with him. Kevin Kistner, he has great course history, but I'm not going to click on him. Somebody that on, in that grouping, again, 16-1. I'm looking at JT Poston as a super cheapy, super flyer. He can be somebody that uh, on Bermuda can get it done for you as well. I'm a little bit of a stand, but again, these two are never going to show up in lineups together. It would be really, really ridiculous. And why? Well, because they're in the same exact group, 16th group. So don't do it. Got to pick one of them. That's how we're going to build out lineups this week. But on the top end, I guess we should start here. Patrick Cantley, I expect him when the ownership gets going for him to be crazy, crazy popular. Let's go down the box score. Watch a thon 16th. Yeah, second at the Shriners last year. 16th, 26th. Phoenix Open just bagel. But then third, 19th. Looking really, really sharp in a match play format. Somebody who doesn't get too high, too low. I feel like he fits the build. But again, I'm going to be playing a lot of the ownership game. And my dude, Sam Burns on Bermuda at Austin Country Club, where you can whack driver on a bunch of these par fours, drive a lot of par fours on the back nine there, uh, front nine too. But lots of opportunities for Sam Burns. I'm going to be firing him up. Let me get a sip of water quick. Eh, needed that. I am dying. Uh, we're going to continue on our merry way. This mid-range. Leaving salary on the table, a very, very viable strategy here this week. We get Thigala, 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 8,000 for him. Somebody in the 11th group, 6th quadrant. Again, get used to saying these things. Group of 8, you don't want to run them in. Again, that's why we want to build in Cruncher. And that, my friends, is when you start ramping up the randomness. I make sure that I do not build with max salary. 600, that seems like fun, right? Got two uniques might be a little aggressive. We're gonna go to make 20 lineups just for all you 20 max people. We're gonna fire it up and see what we get. Oh, I give the thumbs up to McNeely. Probably too much McNeely, if we're gonna be honest. Justin's uh, looking good. Ben Griffin looking really good. Lots of opportunities for some of these mid-range players to find their way because again, in match play, lots of things can happen. Look at the win percentages. I'm going back to it. Look at it. There are not that many differences between the top end. Hatton there at 2.8. Sub 3%. Scheffler is at sub 6%. Lots of ways to get you in trade. And again, top four, he's still showing up 16% of the time, 26.8%. Lots of difficulties. I probably, depending on ownership, will be getting away from some of the absolute studs. Probably going to get some Rory. I don't know how popular he'll end up, but I think people like Cantley Click, the Rom Click, the Scheffler Click, those all feel like when the ownership updates here at Stochastic, get ready for a lot of fun. But these groupings, make them in Cruncher because it does it for you, where you will not have the groups screw up. Look at this. You won't have it screw up. Used one, two, three. Just make sure you get yourself an opportunity to see all of these round eight groups and that you do not screw up. Again, at most one of these players. At most one of these players so on and so forth let the groups get made for yourself do not hand build unless you are a psychopath and want to just like go back and forth between the bracket as you're making your bracket not the craziest thing to do but i found in the past just let the cruncher do it for you it's a much better decision so this is a quick one less than 10 minutes because i'm waiting for ownership i think we want to wait on a couple of other things we do have some draws to maybe talk about to round out the show but hit that like button subscribe button notification bell players that i'm definitely targeting in terms of their draw ricky fowler he gets john rom horschel mitchell the leverage you get for passing Rom Mitchell, who I expect to actually get a little bit of ownership, maybe not much because of Rom, but Scheffler on the other side. I think getting to Alex Norin, uh, my guy, Ben Raza's dude, because again, you get so much leverage passing 25% Scotty Scheffler. Start getting ready 
to do a bunch of bunch of fantastic things. That is the important part. The important part of this lesson for you today is make sure these groups do not overlap. Make sure you give yourself an opportunity to have six of eight and make sure you do pass go collect $200 or a lot more like 200K. That'd be awesome. So that does it. I'm feeling a little under, under the weather. So I'm going to get out of here. Once again, no hand builds this week for me. Just going to leave it up to the gods. Move on with my day. But hit that like button as we get out of here. Check out prize picks using promo code Lindy. Really great stuff. I'm going to miss the match play. If you are too, hit that like button. Get out of here. Until next week, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the PGA streets this week. Starting Wednesday. Starting Wednesday.